Hey guys, Ethan from Two Player Creations. Just in the workshop today and thought I'd document the process of casting a visor buck. Now, as most of you know, I've been working on the Halo 3 recon bucket. I just need a visor for this guy. Now, the buck's been kindly printed by my mate Harry Drake, linked in below. Started off as a basic 3D print, which I did have a few goes of doing some test casting, but unfortunately just couldn't take the pressure of the vacuum former. So I've taken that, cleaned it up, the series of layers of priming and sanding, and then actually created a false border just using monster clay. Once that's done, creating a full mold jacket and hard shell and ending up with the result of a solid resin puck that can take a lot more damage than the original 3D print. Hopefully this is helpful for someone out there who's looking and doing the same sort of project. This is one of the test pulls from the original buck. Came out really nice, but it did break the buck. So that's why I'm gonna go through and create a solid resin one. Starting with the cleaned up 3D print with the monster clay border, we're going to do our first print layer. Now this is just using a two-part platinum silicon with a thickening agent. For the first print layer, we're not going to add any thickening agent, and this is so we can capture all the details and keep the silicon nice and runny. I'm just going to pour that over the entire model using a disposable brush to brush it all into the edges, details, and make sure there's no air bubbles. Don't worry too much about overflow, this will come in handy when we're doing the hard shell later on. Now layer two is where our thickening agent comes in handy. Make sure to read the instructions on the thickening agent you have as they can vary. For mine, I'm using about nine to 10 drops for a 100 mil silicon pour. I'm aiming for the consistency of really thick cake icing. And this is how I can place this all over the model, pushing it into all the gaps and crevices. As I'm working over the model, I'm making sure just to push it nice and hard up against the edges, create like a basic even shell. Before that set, I'm placing the registration keys on. These are just offcuts from previous two-part molds. And once those are on, we're moving into layer three. This is partially thickened, not anywhere near as thick as layer two, but this is just to seal in all the registration keys and reinforce the mold. Now, once that's set overnight, we're gonna use a craft knife just to clean up the bordering, but leaving a sort of two to four centimeter border to use while we're making the hard shell. Now for this mold jacket, I'm just using Warbler scraps because of what I had laying around. Really simple process, just heat and stick. It's kind of why I've skipped over that process. Now when that's all done, we can take the hard shell off, separate the silicon from the buck, and we're ready to go into resin casting. Now to backfill this mold, I'm using Easy Flow 95 liquid plastic from Polytech. But you can use things like Smooth On 300, uh, maybe 65D if you've got it lying around. Just whatever you can get your hands on that works with platinum silicons. Now I've let that sit for a few hours and we're ready to demold. Really simple, take the hard shell off, move the silicon jacket, and there we have it. Rock hard, resin cast, visor buck. Ready to go for vacuum forming. Awesome guys, thanks for tuning in. I know that was just a quick one, so I've probably missed out a few details, but any questions, just chuck it in the comments below. And tune in next time, because I'll probably run this bad boy through the vacuum former. As always, guys, if you like what I do, follow me on at 2 Player Creations on Instagram, forward slash 2 Player Creations on Facebook. Like, subscribe, all that junk. Keep me making content so I can not be bored. Cheers.